。为什么美国美女考中的时候就决定搬到台湾了，而且她飞到台湾的时候都没有跟她家人说？ Didn't even tell my parents that was so bad. 她家人发现她在台湾的时候，他们的反应是什么呢？ Oh, I just called them and I was like, hi. 为什么大家这么早就决定搬到台湾呢？今天美国美女会跟我们分享她的故事。And the reason why I moved to Taiwan. 她一开始怎么认识台湾呢？第一次来台湾的时候，她的反应是什么呢？ I think the first thing that I noticed it was. 还有更多，我们来一起看大家的故事。I'm Dalia. I'm from the U.S. and I just moved here two months ago, but I've been coming and going since 2013. I'm an English tutor, and the reason why I moved to Taiwan is to live here with my husband and start a family soon. How and when did you know about Taiwan? Actually, I found out about Taiwan back in 2012. That's、mm. when I、uh, met my current husband. Oh, okay. So we met in high school,、mm. and then it was time for him to come back to Taiwan,、mm. uh, and then he just told. Me, do you want to go live in Taiwan for a little while?、Oh. <laughs> so I was like, sure. So I just pack a luggage、mm. and I move、uh, to Taiwan, Taiwan, and that's how I heard about Taiwan. Oh, okay, okay,、so, this is cool.、Yeah. And like, do you remember like your first impression when you just came here? Yeah, I think the first thing that I noticed it was.、Mm. The mountains, like、oh, so yeah, yeah. green and full of trees. Because、mm -hmm. every time I see mountains, like in Mexico, when I travel to Mexico,、mm -hmm. they're like kind of like dry、oh, yeah, 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 and yeah. like rough.、Mm -hmm. But here in Taiwan, it's literally just green, 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 yeah, green, yeah, yeah. green, and the temples. They're like everywhere,、mm. so pretty, full of colors. Oh, okay, this is cool. How did you decide to move here? Because like in 2013, you came here first time, well, right? Actually,、uh. um, I still stayed in the U.S. for a little while、mm. after my husband came back、mm. because I'm a little bit younger.、So So I had to finish high school. Oh, oh, wow! So high school. Me, so I really, as soon as I turned 18,、mm -hmm. in a couple months,、uh, he just told me, oh, you know, so we wouldn't separate, you know, because of、oh, yeah, our right, long-distance、right. relationship. He told me, oh, you should move to Taiwan.、Mm -hmm. So I basically didn't even tell my parents that was so bad.、Oh. I just came <laughs> and.、Uh, That's it, and then they found out once I was already here. But my decision was just because he told me, and I was like, I don't want to be in a distance relationship,、mm. so I just came. But how, how did your parents react? Like when you were just like left the country? I think they kind of. I didn't tell them. I was scared.、Uh. So I think my other、uh, siblings told them. So I don't really know. I just called them and I was like, Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But they kind of just were like they couldn't they couldn't do anything anymore because、mm. I was already 18. Oh yeah, so, right, right. Yeah. And do you remember like when you just came here? Like, what is the first things you tried? Maybe or experienced or the、uh, first places you go? I went more to the south, south with、okay. my family. The next day they were like, oh, let's take a trip to the south.、Mm. We went to an amusement park. I don't remember exactly what city, but we didn't come to the north. It was mostly south, south. vacation. Okay, okay, okay. And then like you stayed here like for a couple of months and then you go back, right? Like about two. Years and, oh, then would, years and then I went back、mm -hmm. and、uh, then recently we decided. When did you officially move here? It was about two months ago. Two months. Oh wow. Yes, yes. <laughs> recently,、okay. yeah. But I'm already familiar with、mm -hmm. Taiwan. Did you learn Chinese language and like? I did learn、mm. a few words.、Mm. Uh, I mean, at the beginning I learned like the alphabet, a few、um, like the tones、oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, a few、yeah. words. But after a while, I feel like I need to refresh because I don't remember a lot anymore.、Mm. But、yeah. what, what do you think, like in general, like about Chinese? Language. I do think it's a bit hard because of、mm. the tones. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so、right. I feel like I can say things, but if I don't say the right tone, people look at me like, "What did you say?" Like, <laughs> so confused. Even my husband,、mm. I I feel like, oh, I learned a new word and I told him, and then he's like, "What are you saying?"、Oh. <laughs> he has no clue because the tones are not right.、Mm. So I think that's the part that kind of makes it really hard. But like with your husband, like do you usually speak like in English or just straight up English? English, right? Okay,、yes. okay. He needs to help me out. <laughs> yeah. <he needs. laughs> and did you get like Chinese name? Yes, I do have a Chinese name. is、uh, Molia. So Molia. Molia stands for Mexico because my、oh. family is from Mexico.、Oh. And then Lia is for Dalia. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like the end is Molia. And like who who helped you like to choose、my、this name? My brother-in-law. He just、uh, I don't know where they told they told me. Oh, your name is Molia. And I was like, I didn't get a choice. <laughs> like he just chose the name. Oh, they, the name. they just told you, right? Yes. And do you know how to write your name? Or、like? I did learn. I、mm. I kind of know, but I think I kind of forgot a little bit.、Oh. I just but I did learn how to write it. So it's com it, it was complicated. Yes,、yeah, it, it looked a little ugly,、oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. people could read it. For the time you came here, like have you traveled around? Like which places did you visit here? Oh, I've been to a lot of places. To be honest, I think I've been、uh, to the south.、Oh, too, yeah. But my favorite one, I would say, Hualien. Hualien, okay. Yes, it's so beautiful. I went like、uh, it's all the nature. I really like、mm. nature. So, yeah, like I mentioned, I've traveled all over the place, but. 
I tend to go more to the south because mm. I like the beaches, mountains, rivers. So I can find that a lot in okay. the south. Okay. And yeah. the place you used to stay before you come to Taiwan, like, is it like more like city or is that? No, it's no? totally different. It's Texas. Oh, Texas. So oh. it's. I mean, I do live like in Houston, but it's still very like uh, different. As much as crowded as here, no trains, mm. everything car. Yeah, it's oh. completely different. Yeah. And so like, there's no like mountains, right? Like, no, no, there's like, no mountains. It's actually just it's very flat, flat. very hot. Uh, it's more like desert. Right? A, a little, mm. it's, uh, but nothing like Taiwan. Okay, yeah. okay. What, what is your favorite Taiwanese food? My favorite is little soup thing. Yeah, like the, the soup with vermicelli, right? Yeah, with the, like the soup and the, and yeah, the oyster thing. Yeah, mm. I don't know how you call that. Also like the hot dog bun, right? Yeah, the, the hot dog bun. You like stinky tofu? You like stinky tofu? Yeah. Wow. yeah. <laughs> but the, the soup kind. Oh, That's okay. my favorite one, the soup. Yeah. Like, the, like you like the spicy one or not spicy? No, one? really spicy. I like really spicy. You really like spicy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. like is there any food you don't like? Because I would guess like stinky tofu, but you like stinky tofu. No, I just see anything with pig blood. Oh yeah, pig yeah, blood. Yeah, okay. I don't like pig blood. The first time I tried it, I didn't know it was pig blood, <laughs> and I was so shocked because. For, I'm from the south, so we're very religious. Mm -hmm. So in my religion, we cannot eat anything oh. with blood. So when they told me, I was like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Since then, I don't touch it. Okay. Yeah. What things do you like the most about Taiwan? I would say nature. Nature. Because mm -hmm. I didn't have like a lot of nature places in Houston. Mm -hmm. So the nature and the most important for me is safety. Safety. Oh yeah. Yes, right, because right. in the U.S. where I live, mm. it was really dangerous. Oh. So here I can literally do anything by myself mm. at whatever time I feel completely safe. safe. That's okay. the main thing for me. Safety. But <laughs> when you live in the U.S., like, is there like uh, like anything uh, bad or like dangerous happen to you here in Taiwan? No, in U.S. Oh, in the U.S. I mean. I feel like to everybody, like if you're like in a really bad neighborhood, mm. you might see people get shot. Oh, seriously? Yes, I, it actually happened when I was younger, you know? Oh. So for us, it's kind of normal. So that's why <laughs> when I compare it to Taiwan, mm. I feel free here. Like I can oh. do whatever I want, but Houston is crazy over wow. here. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything you don't like about Taiwan? I guess the driving. Like oh, as driving. A, when you're a pedestrian, mm. I feel like you have to be very careful. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'm always like looking, like before I even go, I'm like looking. Mm. Especially if you live in the countryside, there's not like a lot of signs mm. when people can walk. So I'm always being careful when I ride my bike, like getting scared. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People can drive a little bit more crazy here mm. than in the U.S. What do you think is the biggest difference between Taiwan and U.S.? I would say everything's more organized. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people follow the rules. Mm. And since Taiwan has like all the trains, like the transportation is really nice right oh, here. Yeah, yeah, it's something yeah. I could never have in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Everything is just driving because everything's so far too. Mm -hmm. So I would say just ev everything is very organized. Okay, okay. Yeah. What is your like um, best memory about Taiwan? Like all like the best memory you had in Taiwan so far? I guess just like traveling around mm -hmm. is really fun. I always remember this place I went uh, with my husband. It's in Hualien. It's a river called like a Mugumuyu. Oh. I would say that's my best memory because I fell in love with that place. Mm -hmm. The water is like so like crystal, like mm. blue. Mm. I that's my best memory. Okay, okay. I love okay. that place. <laughs> yeah. For the time you live here, like, have you faced like any difficulties? Uh, in the countryside, I would say it is the language barrier because not a lot of people, like older people, speak English. Yeah, right. So. Uh, so if like it's a like young person, I feel more comfortable because I know they might understand mm -hmm. me, but um, I go out and sometimes I want to order the food um, and they don't understand me. So I take out my phone and I try to do like Google Translate, oh. but sometimes it's, since it's not that good, mm -hmm. they still kind of don't understand me. So I would say the language barrier. Oh. And how about like menu, like because like when they give yes, you... Yes, the menu. It's like I, all in Chinese, right? Yes, I, do, I literally like okay. translating mm. or before I go, I always tell my husband, I look up in Google and then write what you want and then I can just show it to them. Oh, yeah, right, right. Do you think like Taiwan changed you in any way or not? I think a lot. Um, mm. Since uh, I came over here, I learned a lot about a new religion, mm. culture. So it maybe be like more open-minded mm. about other religions and just understanding. Because at first, maybe I would see things that I'm like, why are they like that? But then after a while, like I can understand. Okay, right, it just right. just maybe be more open-minded, mm. I would say. For how long are you planning to stay here in Taiwan like, for, for now? I'm actually planning to live here already. Oh, yes, oh. Um, me and my husband decided we want to start a family. And mm. just for safety, like I said, we prefer to have kids here oh. so that's why we kind of said you know what let's just stay here for a while because we're getting older so we <laughs> want to start having kids mm -hmm. so just for the safety we just said let's just live here for now if you have the chance like what would you change about taiwan uh 
Um, well, from where I live, mm. when I'm walking, I feel like I don't have a lot of space to walk. I always feel like I'm <laughs> dodging like things in the middle oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. or like scooters or like bicycles. Mm. I don't know. I just feel like pedestrians should have more space to oh, walk. Oh, right, <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you very much for like sharing. And now let's say bye-bye together. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.